We begin tonight in St. Albans, where Police Chief Gary Taylor faced questions from the St. Albans City Council tonight on his department's handling of a use of force incident that left a handcuffed woman seriously injured. Local 22's Devin Bates joins us now live at St. Albans City Hall with the latest. Devin. Well, Glenn, there were a lot of unanswered questions heading into today, particularly surrounding what happened during the two and a half months between when Sergeant Jason Lawton appeared to strike a handcuffed woman and the start of an internal investigation from the St. Albans Police Department. Now, that investigation started after the ACLU of Vermont requested body cam footage of the incident. And today we saw Chief Taylor defending his department's practices during this time. What I would like to say to you, and I'm not offering it as an excuse, because nobody had to tell us what to do here or encourage us to do the right thing. This was discovered by a lieutenant on the 28th who brought it to my attention on the 29th. We initiated everything on June 3rd, and by July 1st, Lawton was terminated. St. Albans Police Chief Gary Taylor sat before the St. Albans City Council on Monday to detail his department's response to an excessive force incident that occurred on March 14th, when former Sergeant Jason Lawton appeared to strike 35-year-old Amy Connolly in the face while she was wearing handcuffs. Officers Michael Ferguson and Zachary Koch were present for the altercation. Ferguson resigned and was later hired by the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. Meanwhile, Officer Koch is currently suspended and going through remedial training. Chief Taylor described Koch as the, quote, least culpable officer because he was filing paperwork when the incident started. When the incident was, was over, the physical part of it was over with, he was told um, that Sergeant Lawton would complete the response to resistance, which is a form you have to fill out if you use force of any kind. His explanation is that he expected that that met his responsibility. When given the opportunity, no St. Albans City Councilors questioned Chief Taylor, but one St. Albans resident took issue with the chief's explanation. I don't think they should even be police officers, because that's not what police officers do. And they watched this guy do this to her. You know, they, they shouldn't be police officers if they're watching somebody brutally hurt a woman. Uh, I'm ashamed of our police department right now. I really am. Meanwhile, St. Albans Mayor Tim Smith broke his silence on the matter, defending his city's police department. There is much more good coming out of our police department than negative. And we, and I think I speak for the full council when I say, we support the chief, he's addressing the situation, and we're gonna move forward with corrected policies, and we're gonna correct this situation. Now, Chief Taylor didn't go into why the Franklin County Sheriff's Office was unaware of Officer Ferguson's involvement in this incident. However, he did say he forwarded information to the Vermont Criminal Justice Training Council as required. Live in St. Albans, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.